Welcome to another edition of No Dunks Whoopsies, the Hoops and the Bloops. They say the only thing that can stop a man is himself. That's what happened to Jackson Hayes. It looked like this dunk was going down. A beauty reverse. He's watching it happen. But then oh. the reverb from the rim burb just throws it back. Oh, no, Jackson. <laughs> great what reaction. We yeah. We've met Miles Turner before. He's a great guy, an honest mm-hmm. man. But yep. maybe a little too honest, Tass. Yeah, versus the Wizards. Turner raises his hand to signal the foul, but then he complains about the whistle being called. Which one do you want, Miles? <laughs> you want the foul called or not? I loved Drew Gooden on the broadcast saying Turner snitched on himself. So true. <laughs> you don't see that very often. The Raptors stopped a nine-game losing streak, so post-game, Kyle Lowry, all smiles. This could be his final game as a Raptor, so it's understandable. People are calling him. Mm-hmm. He, he, uh, yeah, he's getting a call. Hold on a sec. I got to call a PR. Cut the mics. This is, a, this is a personal call. Whoa, he's getting into it right away. Yeah, Scouts. like who is it? His wife, a family member, maybe Masai Ujiri? Yeah, this is an emotional day. Maybe you're getting traded. You're right. He could be talking to his family member. Then he says, hey, PR, actually, you know what? This person wants to talk to everybody out there. Oh. It's Drake. Drake wants more publicity. Come on, Drake. <laughs> this is Lowry's time to shine. Come Dr- on, Drake. Turn a light on in your room there. The <laughs> I can barely see you. After Harrison Barnes hit a game-winning three this week, Kings rookie Tyrese Halliburton decided to do the old sneaky water celebration. Yeah, sneaking Ooh. up on him like me trying to sneak up the stairs, breaking curfew in high school. You know, you're not trying to wake the parents. And he gets yeah. up behind Harrison Barnes and he gets up. He's good. I was very, very quiet. It's yes, like... light on his feet. He knows where they creak. You know, you had to figure it out. Oh, that one creaks on the left. Oh, that one creaks on the right. <laughs> Rudy Gay playing defense on Denzel Valentine in the corner. Called for a foul. He definitely did not commit so what does he do with the ref the vet kills him with kindness goes for a huge (laughs) hug and it worked the call was overturned oh wow yeah Yeah. so just hug a referee get the whistle your way Uh, but you gotta be a vet you gotta know how to do it that was a smooth move by rudy gay right there (laughs) he really like brought the referee's head like into his bosom there caress him brace yeah on thursday raptors legend norman powell he was traded to the blazers and on sunday his current and former team played each other which is why it shouldn't be all that surprising that norm accidentally lined up on the wrong side of the floor for the jump ball. You see him here, you go, oh, oh, yeah, Mm -mm. right. I'm playing for the Blazers now. Okay, tip it this way. Yeah, it happens. It definitely does. Up five, 26 seconds left. Norman Powell has the chance to bury his old team from the line, but he missed both, so you can understand why he rips the best gray jersey in the league right there. He's pissed, and he's strong, too. That's hard to do. Don't go chasing Mason Plumleys. Please stick to the Austin Rivers and the Lakers. No, I'll just stop there. But uh, Plum Dog Millionaire dropping TLC or had him stumbling and bumbling and fumbling there. Yeah, that's Mason Plumley doing that. Crazy. Yeah. If only Doc Rivers was coaching. Uh, the New Orleans Pelicans used all but 0.3 seconds of a shot clock. So there's a jump ball. They're not jumping because it doesn't matter. It's Celtics ball. But inexplicably, Marcus oh. Smart just throws it out of bounds. What are you doing? doing the weirdest part is that he tries to explain himself to Kemba Walker no no you don't know the rules no 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 no, no. <laughs> no you, you don't. don't know the rules what just, are you doing just get back on defense uh Bam Adebayo he loves to crash a Jimmy Butler post-game interview and he did it again this week after a win over the New York Knicks hit him with the cabbage patch will you tell Bam uh, I said hello please hey Jan- uh Jack said get the hell out of the screen <laughs> Jack said, get the hell out of the screen. I, he I, did. I did not. I, I assume that's for Jawan right there. Right? That's for huh? Coach Howard right there? I'm not doing that. Yeah, that, that's, yeah. that's for Jawan Howard right here. Yeah, absolutely. Come on, man, so I can give it back. Come Shock on, the world. Oh. There it yeah. is. Oh. <laughs> A Miles Bridges absolutely embarrasses Robin Lopez of oh, oh, the Washington still Wizards. Still looking for him. Yeah, Lopez gets lost. It's like the power goes out. Like, Whoa, where, where is everything? Oh, no. That's embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, he knows that's going in whoopsies for sure. Uh, Nuggets rookie Campazzo said, Fuck who? To Ben Simmons <laughs> this week. Yeah, shout out to Lee for that joke. Yeah, just trucking the bigger Aussie. I mean, Faku is like, I don't know, 5'10", something like that. Obviously, Ben Simmons, big guy, but uh, he's trying to set the screen there in the backcourt. Campazzo saw it, lined him up, and took him down. Oh, yeah. 
They had a little thing going on in that game. Yeah. No messing with Faku. The Kings are playing Hack a Teenage Mutant Ninja Purtle. Yeah, sending Yakka Purtle to the line <laughs> late in this game. And he, oh yeah, the ball didn't even look like it was in his hand. So airball the first free throw. Oh no, why are we showing you the second free throw? Oh, that's never a good sign. This no. can't be good. Airball's the first and oh my God. nothing but mesh from the outside on that one. Wow, you really don't see that. Yeah, back-to-back airballs at the free throw line. Tough, tough <laughs> night for NBA official Leroy Richardson. There he is getting hit in the Hibberts accidentally from Sarge. And then same game a little bit later, Denzel Valentine, he knocks him over like he's Compasso. And uh, the referee is Simmons and he goes stumbling into the seats there. Looks like he's legit hurt, but the good news is... He was okay. He continued to officiate the game. He just had to walk it off. He's just like, I'm too old for this shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Coach Nash, how do you feel about your team being the NBA's new villains? <laughs> <laughs> great stuff there from Steve Nash and great stuff on the No Dunks YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe for our daily videos.